All right, so in this video, what we're gonna do is actually talk about the uh, ALMD we need to add for the system we actually added, right? So we added the the logic for the large scale fault handling and you know basically for SCADA and stuff like that. And what we've done is we've added our faults as well, right? So if you recall, we added our E stop fault and we added everything in there. Now we need to add our ALMD. So what we're going to do is we're going to add our, we're just going to add one ALMD block just to keep it simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if that fault is present, right? If this fault over here is present, then we're going to actually use that. So we're going to take that and copy. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to paste. Except we're going to take this and we're going to put it right here. Now we're going to take this, take it out and then we're going to use an ALMD. So in the ALMDs, and this is the part of this is, is exactly where you're gonna look at this, right? So you're gonna look at this as data handling, right? So when you look at it, coming up here, you're gonna look at you know your files, your shifts, stuff like that, your sequencers, stuff like this. This is more of an alarm, so keep in mind, Right, so this is data, but it's an alarm. So we're gonna throw it in here, and we're gonna give it a name, okay? And you're gonna get basically name this as you would whatever your system is, right? So say for instance, this would be system fault. Um, and we're just gonna name this system fault um, 01, right? Because this is what it is, system fault 01. And then as far as this goes, we just wanna put a zero in here. And I mean, you could you can program these as as, as deep as deep as you want to. We're just basically going to come in here and keep it as simple as possible. Now, what we are going to do is we're going to come in here and put a severity in here, right? So e stop is going to be a severity of uh, 1,000. It's going to be a high severity. Then we're going to put a tag in here. Okay, this tag we're going to put is going to reference our actual. Um, a, L, and D that we are our, our uh, system tags that we have, right? Now our system tags, our system faults, right? This is going to be our description. Now this is going to be the text for this actual one, right? It's going to be the text that we need, right? So this is going to be the text that we grab. Okay, so this is going to be what we we actually throw in there as the actual text. So we need to actually go into the system and add this text in there, right? But before we do, we need to add this message in here. So we need to come in here and add whatever the name is, severity, or the system text, right? So you can come in here and add that and just add that over there as the first thing, right? So you can, this is how you tie the message is tagging it in to the actual message right here, right? So you can add classes and, and alarms and, and stuff like that, but we're not gonna actually do that on this, right? We've done that before. What we're trying to show, and this is if you're, you're going layers and layers deep, but we're just showing the first layer and how to do this, right? Because we're just really, really showing the tie-in of the system, and we did such a large video the last time, we wanna make this one kind of shorter. Um, but we do need to come into here and add our actual text in there, right? So this is gonna be the uh, alarm when that happens that's what we're gonna get now what we do need to do is come into our our, our actual fault right and we're gonna come into this and kind of single it out and this is gonna go to system faults and it's gonna go to system descriptions the very first one okay very first one because you have we have remember we have 480 of these this one is going to be this is going to be system e stop active okay so that's what it's going to actually say when we initiate this fault now we have that in place we have the almd in place right so if we were to go into our system which right now we have no alarms right and we push this button then we are now going to get this fault Right, and we, if we go to our alarms, we're gonna actually get that alarm. It's a severity, we let, we raise the severity up to a thousand, 
right? So it's a red alarm. It's going to actually alarm, and it says system e stop fault. That's the message that we actually get, and it actually comes up here in a header bar too. Now, again, we've set that up in prior videos and, and how to do that and stuff like that. But again, this is exactly how to do that. And we can actually put this fault reset in here as well to reset everything, but right now we don't have a fault reset in here. So let's actually do that as well. Let's actually look at that button. And I believe this is V2. Actually, no, that was uh, that was something we did for another, uh, another training. So uh, let's look at this button real quick. Let's see what button we used for this. We used uh, HMI reset, right? HMI reset. Let's actually line that up a little bit better too because it's not lined up that well. I want to line that up a little bit better. So um, HMI reset. So what we can do is come into our program. Remember we have this fault right here. So see our faults active. If we come in here our first out fault has caught our fault active, right? So we have an e-stop fault. Our fault is still there. We're not actually tying this in yet, but this global stop, global reset, we can actually put our HMI reset in parallel, right? Because that's what, that's what we have on our HMI right now. So if we did HMI and then reset push button, then we could tie that in right here and this would reset the fault. So this would get the whole system tied together, fully functional and working. So as long as that was the right button, let me make sure that was the right button. Make sure that was the right button. It was HMI system reset. Okay, so I did the wrong one again. So make sure we go back, tie that in, HMI, system reset so let's go HMI and it was system reset push button actually no that was reset home system reset system and let's pick this from the actual so HMI system reset there we go we got the right one now all right so we still have our fault. We still have everything there. Our fault is still active. Everything's good. Okay, so now we can fully test our system. Our ALMD is still active. Our fault over here is still caught, right? So all we gotta do is hit our reset button. And now our, our fault is reset. Now, it still shows up as in our, our alarms over here as a green because it's not actually act, it's not active anymore right so we can actually start the system and actually run the system as we would but if we were to come in here and actually stop the system again it comes up as a red fault or at comes up in our fault system right just like that and we understand because we have an e-stop right and we can reset there, reset everything and start it back up. So that's really how the scaling should go and that's how everything should flow together. But I just wanted to show you a real quick and real simple in a, a shorter video on how to actually, you know, get this functioning and get an ALMD functioning with this system that we just put in, the first outfall system and the large scale system that we have now using the file bit comparison. Again, very great system. Uh, again, you know, so it's short of, of doing all 480 of these actual bits, um, you know, and, and actually having 480 alarms, you know, I'm not going to actually, you know, tie all these in. But this is exactly how to set that up and how to do that. And the severity is how what the color of that will be uh, based upon what you set up in your actual system uh, for your faults in your HMI system, right? So... With that said, we will see you guys on the next one.